that Babangida, who as best man at her wedding to Vatsa signed her into marital status, was also at hand to sign her into widowhood. This widow's pain, her tears, may continue to be the general's burden. Ah, nobody can trust that man because he's not a man to be trusted at all. What does he come in for? Is it to kill the few that he remain? His government makes Nigeria the most widow in this country and fatherless. If you, we have the census, my file is not here with me. I will tell you no, the number of women that he make fatherless. I mean, widows. And the number of children that he make them fatherless. What does he looking for? Nobody. I repeated it. Nobody in this lifetime should trust that man. What is the agenda? What does he have? Why must he be them or him? Does it mean that the whole Nigeria is dead or are they daft or what? What? What is like? We have people in this country. We have, if you talk of the third general, we have them with conscience, not, not hypocrisy. A corny man die, corny woman bury her. Not running a country with corny. Or not running a country because, for example, you say you have a problem with me. Who knows how many people that he have quarreled since he left power last time. So he will come back and kill them. According to what he said, my, he has quarreled with my husband during when they were in, in secondary school. Isn't it? So when he come this time, since how many years he left power now? Can you remember? Put it. How many people has he have quarreled with them? Does he come to kill them all? Then it means we won't have anybody left. Because you have quarrel. You settle quarrel, isn't it? But if you go by taking their life, because you have quarrel with them, that means nobody will remain in this country. Is that right? So I'm asking Nigeria, who knows how many people that he's hitching to come back to power? What does he pushing to come back? Guardian Editorial, 4th September 1992. For whatever history eventually says about the Babangida years, the truth is that as he prepares to hand over, he does not leave behind a nation enjoying prosperity or one filled with hope regarding future. Here is a man who after eight years is still thirsty for power as on the first day. It is like a sheep in a salt market. Unless you carry the sheep from the salt, it will poison itself. This man is constituting himself into a poison for the political system.